Good morning, ESM. I'm Elena. Today we're going to be talking about some of the hippest hats you can buy. More on this after news. Rachel Gonzalez, a very protective mother, has been to the Capitol in Texas to advocate a bill that would have banned her transgender daughter from using the woman's bathroom. The bill died in 2017, but Texas has thought of 52 other bills that target LGBTQ community, specifically the youth. Parents like Rachel have advocated for these bills to get banned. Chris Stapleton's All-American Roadshow takes the Lakeview Amphitheater this Thursday. The tour is to support his second and third studio albums and Dwight Yoakam and L.A. King tour with him. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Spartan Marching Band performed another excellent show this past Saturday at Oswego High School. The band performed very well, taking second place out of five bands. The Spartan Marching Band were able to get their third movement on the field in only two rehearsals. Way to go, Spartans! So, like I said, today's show is on hats, and I feel like over the years many different hats have been trending. Many popular styles include the bucket hat, which this year, that's very popular, the beanie in winter, and an old favorite, the baseball cap. I was doing research on hats, and it said that no one knows when the first hat was invented, but historians found ancient artwork from Egypt revealing kings and queens wearing fancy hats. And in Roman Greece, people who were in the lowest levels of society were not allowed to wear hats until becoming official citizens. After weather, we'll show some trendy hats and where to get them. Today there will be a few showers with a high of 66 and a low of 58. Tomorrow there will be a chance of showers with a high of 60 and a low of 55. And finally Wednesday it will be cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 56. And I'm Paige with your weather. And which ones are like trending now out of all of them? Uh, Oakley's are really popular. Under Armour are really popular. Nike are really popular. Uh, these are all the basketball. It's always like that. Fitted and snapbacks. A lot of people prefer fitted. Oh, and then football teams and all that. And what's your favorite hat? <laughs> uh, I'm a Patriot fan. Okay. Football teams got their first wins yesterday. Uh, the Jets beat the Titans and the Giants beat the Saints in overtime off a of Saquon Barkley walk-off touchdown. The Arizona Cardinals remain undefeated after defeating the formerly undefeated LA Rams. Buccaneers quarterback Tom Brady set the NFL passing yards record as well as becoming the fourth quarterback in NFL history to beat every single team after beating his former team, the Patriots. 
The Packers beat the Steelers 27 to 17. In the win, Aaron Rodgers reached his 420th career touchdown pass, tying Dan Marino for sixth. Ben Roethlisberger also reached a career milestone with 400 touchdown passes. The postseason schedule is finally set as the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox have punched their tickets to the wild card yesterday as both teams won. The AL wild card game is set for Tuesday at 8 in Boston. With the San Francisco Giants beating the San Diego Padres, they won the NL West. That puts the Los Angeles Dodgers in the NL wild card against the St. Louis Cardinals. And now, on to your local sports with Luke. The Orange lost a nail-biter on Saturday 33-30 to Florida State on a game-winning field goal by FSU. The gymnastics team defeated Proctor 127-107. Rena Butchko, Kaylee Montana, Montana, and Ellie Mancini all scored over 26 in the all-around. Rena Butchko and Mallory Kramer posted the highest scores for floor exercise, while the best score for vault and beam belonged to Ellie Mancini. Mancini pride. The football team lost to CBA on Friday 41-19. Quarterback Tyler Bell and running back Jackson Palin both scored rushing touchdowns, and sophomore receiver Jimmy Malbone led the game in receiving yards with 79. The boys' soccer team beat Baldensville 3-0. Todd Durantini led the team with two goals. Nico Paduano had a goal and assist, and Anel Soljic had an assist. In upcoming games, both golf teams play against Oswego at 3.30. The tennis team has their sectionals match at Auburn at 3.30. And the field hockey team plays at home at 6.15 against Whitesboro. And the volleyball team plays at FM at 7. And I'm Luke with your sports. Well, the video that you guys just saw, I interviewed Alfonso from the Lid Store, and he showed many of the cool hats you can buy. I personally bought a Yankees hat, and it was only... I think $30, so it's a good deal. So go get yourself some cool hats from Lids. For me and everyone here out there, have an awesome Monday.